Hey guys, good morning. It is Monday, April the 27th, 2020. Today we are going to be reading a book titled Some Pets. The title of the story is Some Pets. Now, when we read books, we talk about characters, and characters are the people or the animals in the book that are doing the things in the book to move the story along. While I'm reading this book, I want you guys to pay attention to who the characters are in this book and the things that they're doing. They may not be talking in this book like characters do in other books, but they're still doing important things to help move the story along. So, like I said, we are reading the book, Some Pets, and let's take a look at some of those pets on the front of the book. I see a puppy dog and a horse. There's a kitty cat. What other kind of animals do you see? Do you see animals that we normally don't think of as pets? On the back cover of today's book, it says, look, it's a pet show. Hmm, wouldn't you and your pet like to go? So, do you have a pet? Is there anything really super special about that pet that you would like to show off? Let's find out what kind of things these pets do. Some pets. And down here there's a sign that says pet show today. Again, some pets, and look how big the pet show is. There's lots of different people, lots of different pets. It looks like the whole park has been turned into a special pet show. Some pets sit, some pets stay, and some pets fetch. And some pets play. Look at the kitties, they're playing with a mouse. I don't think it's a real mouse though, I think it's a toy. Some pets slither and some pets bound. Bound, that's a new vocabulary word. What do you think it means? Look at the bunny and what the bunny is doing. What do you think bound could mean? Some pets scurry round and round. Look, what kind of pet is that? It's a hamster, just like Fancy. Some pets squeal, some pets squawk, some pets squeak. Look, what kind of animals squeal? What kind of animals squeal? And what kind of animals squawk and squeak? And some pets talk. Huh. There are some types of birds that can learn to say words. Some pets peck, some pets nibble. Some pets drool all on their kibble. Look at that drooly dog. Some pets squeeze, some pets nuzzle, nuzzle, some pets lick. Some pets cuddle. I don't know if I'd want to be cuddling a porcupine. Whether fluffy, feathered, crawly, cute, silly, strange, scaly, brute, big or small, or a blend, some pets can be someone's best friend.
and it's showing all the different pets that you saw in the story. So these pets, along with their pet owners, are the characters in our story today. So what were the characters doing in our story? Take some time and talk to your moms and dads about some of the things that the animals were doing. You guys have a great day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.